guys, so today I am going to show you how we made a sensory board in our playroom. a cute little sensory board or a busy board in our playroom and I knew I wanted to make it myself but we actually don't have a ton of wall space in the playroom and so the only place that I could really think to put it was right here which is actually in front of one of our vents but my dad made this really cool board that sticks out about two inches and it has holes in it so that the air can still flow to the vent and it can actually still flow on top Plus, it actually made making the board a lot easier because a lot of the holes were already put in there and so it was really, really easy to make. If you don't know, a sensory board or a busy board is basically a very busy board where any type of child of probably any age can basically play with it. This is something that Finn can play with because it will teach him a lot of his different sensories, um, a lot of different textures are on here. It'll also show him a lot of the fine motor skills that he's working on right now at this age. But it's also great for Ollie. We've got zippers on here that he can learn to zip up and down, buttons, buckles, he's got locks. Finn can play with doorknobs, we've got a door stopper. And something that I really wanted to do with this sensory board is kind of work from the bottom to the top. So on the bottom I've got more things that Finn is going to want to play with. So doors that he can open and feel textures, words that he can work on, light switches, mirrors, and kind of working my way up to numbers and colors and more things that are going to be Ollie's age, you know, learning to put locks in or keys in and unlocking things um, are something that Ollie can play with a little bit more. We've got music on here, the xylophone, which was really fun to kind of include in here. It's kind of colorful, which is another thing that I really wanted on this board. Lots of color. I've got magnetic letters all over the board, which we've just glued straight to it. But it sort of is cool because they're really colorful. He can work on his colors, he can work on his letters, he can work on his numbers. And I like that the letters are kind of all over the board because it makes it so that he can actually search for that letter. And whereas the numbers are actually all in order, which is nice because I think that learning your numbers in order is sort of important as well. We've also got this tube right here where he can actually use the pulley system to pull up a ball and then he can just drop that ball right down and it comes out the bottom which I think is cool I think it's just fun for Ollie orphan to play with it sort of teaches them you know just the idea that things go through tubes and fall through gravity I guess it's kind of cool I love that we've included everyday items like light switches locks doorknobs but also toys we've got this little block system that basically they can just pull the blocks off and then they can place the blocks back on. So it kind of teaches them a little bit about stacking. It's colorful, it's fun, which is always neat. Another thing that I really, really wanted to incorporate in my board is I wanted nothing to come off the board because we all know with kids, if it can come off, it's never gonna go back on. It's gonna get lost. So everything is stuck to the board. So even with this whole block system, I've made it so that the blocks come off and then hang on a string and then the blocks can go back on. 
Nothing is gonna get lost on here. Same with the little xylophone uh, stick. It's stuck to the board, it can't come off. <clears throat> Unless you pull it off so hard that it unties. So we'll have to fix that. I've even got a lock up here that has a key and the key is tied to it because we all know he would lose the key in a heartbeat. Plus I didn't want anything to be a choking hazard. So even like this key, if it fell off and was just in the playroom, I wouldn't really feel comfortable with that. I think that sometimes with sensory boards, you sort of have a theme of just like, locks or everyday household items and I just really like that this is colorful and it's got everything. So like I said, we used the board that has a lot of holes in it um, which made it really easy for sort of sticking our nuts and um, hanging devices to kind of stick everything on here. You don't have to use anything like this. You can simply just screw everything right in and it would just be as simple as that. But I thought it made actually things a little bit easier. I just sort of stuck the screw in and then I used a nut to tighten it, which I think worked out really well. But another thing that we incorporated a lot was wood glue. Um, we stuck everything on here with wood glue and it's stuck on there. It is not coming off. So we used anything that is like flat on here, sort of pictures, letters, even these things that you can like tie and buckle, we stuck that on with glue. We actually found these doors in the dollhouse section, which I think was kind of fun. And the doors open up using a dinosaur, which my dad actually screwed to the door. That way it doesn't fall off. And in the door, we've got a sort of rough texture, which is sandpaper. And then in the other door, we've got a softer texture, which is carpet. Um, so that just sort of helps with sensory as well. And then it's kind of cool, we've got pictures on here of magnets, which I think both Ollie and Finn can play with because I could say, where's the ladybug? And Ollie will love looking for stuff like that. And Finn's gonna slowly, you know, what is this? He'll learn the word for that item, which is kind of cool. But anyways, guys, I'm so excited about this. So far, the kids absolutely love it. They've spent so much time already just playing with it, just looking at everything, learning a lot of things already, which I think is really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more DIYs like this. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!